What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Support Going. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I was able to get double S rank in Time Attack, so that way you can get them 600 rubies this weekend. Now, this is going to be a really tough one, guys, because you need purple fighters. And unfortunately, guys, when it comes to purple fighters, you're pretty limited as far as what you can use. It's really the collaboration characters that really shines here. I mean, Jin is nuts, guys. He can solo this thing by himself. I already did it on my free to play account. Uh, Ivy is also insane. She has got Godly for this thing. I mean, if you have Dual Lawn, he's actually really good as well. But I wanted to show you guys a team where you're not really going to need them to be A5 or all fully leveled up. Now, Cassandra here, it was a completely free-to-play character that everybody got from the Soul Calibur collaboration. Now, to be fair, guys, most players aren't going to have her at A3. They're probably just going to have her at A2. But that's going to be more than good enough because when you look at her kit, guys, I do have a Soul Calibur set on her. I don't have any imprint stones on this girl whatsoever. I have no imprint stones on her, and I have no capsules on her whatsoever. If I had capsules and imprint stones on her, it would be, you could, I could solo this thing with her. I guarantee it. She is very, very strong and her survivability is just so good that you're probably going to be able to keep her alive throughout the entire run, which is pretty nutty, guys. Plus her leadership is amazing. Not to mention Ivy's leadership is also amazing. Again, guys, Ivy and Jen really are the kingdom comes in this thing, but I believe Duel Long would do really good. If you guys want to see that, I can try to do that for you. But Akuma here can actually put in work, guys. A year-old collaboration character can actually put in work. I'm using the Rugal set because he is an EX fighter. He does benefit from having this, and I just want that prog to build up super, super fast. And he does have imprint stones on him, right? But he does get it done, guys, and he does have a nice immunity core, which is pretty damn sweet. And again, having this immunity for four seconds is really, really nice. Akuma can put in some work in this game mode for sure, guys. He doesn't need to be A5. He doesn't need to be maxed out. Like, seriously, guys, you'll see, like, uh, in here, there are players that are using, you know, characters that aren't even close to this level up as mine, and they're able to get those times, and I believe they firmly could. Honestly, this wasn't that difficult at all for my account. Granted, I have an A7 Akuma. Granted, you know, I have an A3 Cassandra, but again, with no imprint stones, no capsules, and you'll see the damage she does, guys. It's really nutty. And then Leona here, guys. It really doesn't matter when it comes to Leona. I mean, I got a good build on her, but... Leona can actually put in some damage, surprisingly. She can actually do some damage. I don't know about soloing this thing, maybe with a healing striker. Maybe she could, but she actually can get it done as well, right? And when it comes to the strikers, guys, you know, I just, I'm just using whatever strikers. Honestly, I just put whatever strikers I had available. But Nameless here actually does have a link effect for Cassandra, which is actually pretty cool, increasing the attack and active skill damage, and it decreases skill cooldowns. And it's pretty amazing that a character that's always available in the game and Nameless uh, is such a great striker for a character that we all got free to play if you were playing during the Soul Calibur collaboration, man. I mean, that's kind of the thing about this. If you weren't playing during these collaborations, then you're pretty much going to be relying on Leona for the most part to try to do this. And I'm not really sure if she can, but if you guys look here, guys, you can look at the levels of these characters and and I mean, seriously, like level two, level four, four star, two star. There, some people are using Crone in here, Ivy, right? Two star, four star, two star, right? I mean, like you're doing, you're not really, I mean, look at this one here. You got a two star, uh, Cassandra, and then you have, you know, just regular level 90 Akuma and Ivy. And I believe you could do this, guys. So seriously, Cassandra does a lot of damn damage, as you guys can see. She really puts out the work. But I mean, even the Nina here can put in work for you guys. But, I mean, it's really just a, like a lot of collaboration characters. I mean, Leona is really the one exception. Dual Lawn is an exception as well. You know, he isn't a collaboration character. I mean, if you have him at level 90 and you have a 3PG, that would actually really help as well. But let me go ahead and show you guys the run that I did with these three characters so you can see uh, how I queued it up. So let's do it. But I just start off with Cassandra, guys. Start with the second skill, and then I start going through the first and third skill, which reset, and then I go into her 3PG, right? Remember, we have the Soul Calibur set on her, which really increases her CP, but also, you know, has that 30% chance to proc the PG gain. And yeah, I just kinda solo at first with her and just kinda plow, plow, plow through the skills, plow, kinda plow through the skills, get a little tongue twisted. Actually, on my lunch break right now, which is why I'm wearing my attire here. But yeah. Right? And then I switch to Akuma, and we're just gonna do his 3PG. If you have car sets, guys, like the Rugal set, 
uh, the Athena set, the Soul Calibur set for the Soul Calibur girls. Like these sets, the new set in the banner. But I think the new set in the banner actually would work out for Akuma. He is an attack type fighter, and he does do burn damage. So there's that. You could put that set on Akuma and... You know, I might try that out, but yeah, I just thought about that. He <laughs> actually put that set on. He'd actually benefit tremendously from that because it would actually increase his explosion, which does work really well in time attack. So that is something to think about as well. But I mean, guys, it's the same thing as I did with the last time attack video. You know, whenever you're applying blast skills, you're gonna break the meter against Mukai here, and you can really do a lot of damage to him. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we still haven't broke the meter, right? We're we're going to though here shortly. And there it starts breaking, boom, and then we do tons of damage. And these guys can see Cassandra just melts, right? Having no imprint stones whatsoever on her, she's just melting. And as always, whenever you start with Ash, you can either go into your 3PG immediately, like what I'm doing right now, or you can dodge and try to get behind Ash, time your dodge to where he doesn't do his attack to you, so that way you can go into your skills afterwards. And with Ash, you really want to try to do your 3PG, do some attacks, do a 3PG, do an attack, 3PG, default, whatever. You want to go back and forth between your attacks and your 3PGs and your defaults, and you'll find, guys, that you'll do a lot of damage you know, to Ash. There's certain moments where he's immune, and then there's certain moments where he takes a huge amount of damage and yeah yeah and even at the end of this fight guys you'll see that leona actually does damage too it's actually pretty impressive but it, this is going to be a tough week for a lot of players because i feel like a lot of players aren't going to have you know all these purple characters i mean honestly i mean i mean street fighter was a year ago right soul caliber was a good little while back i mean there might be some players that you know aren't playing right now or didn't pull during the soul caliber collaboration because they were waiting for other fighters in the future fighters like leona right or lung maybe right so yeah but i just i just go back and forth guys between all these characters do the 3pg do some base tags default and i'm just kind of switching in between them all back and forth to be able to get these 300 rubies, or actually get 600 between the two days in Saturday and Sunday. And, you know, Akuma does have increased target damage received on his default, so I'm actually trying to use that as well to pour out some damage. But it's really nice that Cassandra has an interrupt skill. Honestly, if I would just hit her first and third skill there, we probably would have ended the fight, but I went ahead, got nervous, and hit my 3PG, but I really could have just hit the first and third skill and would have been fine, right? So now you're going to notice, guys, that we're not doing any damage. We're just going to switch to Leona. He was immune. And then boom. And yeah, we got the SS uh, time there. We did it in one minute. You need to do this in one minute and 10 seconds to get the maximum uh, ruby count out of here. And boom shakalaka, my friends. Boom shakalaka. There you go, right? I mean, that team gets it done. But again, guys, if you're using like Ivy here, if you're using Ivy, uh, this version of Ivy, she is godly in this thing, guys. Really the best character. Her and Jen really are the best characters for this. But if you don't have them, maybe you can use a team like this. And you can switch around your characters to whoever you may be. You know, if you have Cassandra, put her on the team. If you have Leona, you can put her on the team. If you have Akuma, put them on the team. Ivy, Dualon, uh, Nina, any of these characters, put them on the team and try to get it done. Equip those uh, card sets that increase their PG gains. So for Nina's case, have the Tekken set. Soul Calibur, have the Soul Calibur set. Or if you just have the Rugal. Athena set, those would be really good sets, or even the new set that's in the banner right now that increase your PG dramatically so that way you can go into your 3PG immediately. Those card sets are really godly uh, for time attack. So guys, let me know how you're all doing in the game. Let me know how you're all doing in time attack and who you did it with. And I do stream on Twitch at 9pm, DJ plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.